Woo! Cash ball, week 10. Might as well call me Hot Tamales because I'm still on a GD hot streak. Hallelujah. Time to keep this thing going. Last week, I went 2-1 and one in NFL, 3-0 and one in college. If you're crunching the numbers, that means that this season I am 15-12 and 12 on my picks for NFL. 15, 10, and 2 for college. Let me keep the hors d'oeuvres coming. We're going to continue this fucking hot streak this week by playing small ball. And we're going to take what the defense gives us. A lot of value bets this week. This one's a weird week. Really getting hit by COVID. A bunch of SEC games just canceled. I think I just saw Utah just got canceled UCLA because they didn't have enough scholarship players on the roster to play. Things are not looking good. Herm Edwards, God bless his soul, got just got COVID. If there's any elderly man that's going to beat COVID, it's going to be Herm Edwards, so I'm not really that worried. Uh, he's probably going to kick its ass, to be honest. Uh, but... Word got out, Urban Meyer, uh, with his pre-existing pre -existing health conditions, you got to worry about him, but he just beat COVID. Uh, subsequently, canceled the Maryland-Ohio State game. We don't get to see Tua Leah. Just eat up all those points that Ohio State was going to give him. Sad to see that canceled, but hopefully it's made up in the future. But on to this week's picks, or actually, let's start with last week's picks. First one up, not going to say I told you so, but I told you so. Florida plus four versus Georgia. This one was an absolute shit show by Georgia. It just got ran on. Their whole defense is pretty much gutted. Plus, he got Mullen dressing like Darth Vader. Florida has a full head of steam. Watch out. Minnesota versus Illinois. I also called this Minnesota is starting to pop. They are a sleeping giant. They're starting to click. And then finally, the dogs are starting to roll, baby. Fresno State minus 11 versus UNLV in the new stadium. The Death Star out in Vegas. It was fucking sweet. Ronnie did his thing. Dogs fucking blew past him. Now to NFL, Bills plus three versus Seahawks. Uh, this one is a little tough betting against Russell Wilson, but they were due for a loss. Catching on that, Cha ching Colts plus one and a half versus Ravens. Throw that one out. It's hard to bet against Lamar. I thought the Colts defense would do a little bit better. Scrap that one. Can't win them all. And finally, we cashed in on one of our favorite teams, the Raiders. That one was basically a pick versus the Chargers. I'm starting to zag when everyone else is zigging with the Chargers. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. we got to watch out for that. Cash in on the Raiders. Cha-ching. Now on to this week's uniform watch. This week's uniform watch is the surging football team that is Marshall. This one's kind of a somber tone. Marshall is going with their black unit jerseys commemorating the 75 players in the program that were killed in the plane crash 50 years ago today in 1970. Uh, thoughts go out to Marshall and Thundering Herd. Like I said, they're they're doing the thing this year. It's a lock for a win with the Black Unis. This week's strength and conditioning coach spotlight is Coach Wilson Love. Let's take a look. They wake you up. You sleepy. You hear what Coach Love? You gonna wake up. You gonna wake up. You're not gonna be able to sleep no more. You gonna 
He gets the blood flowing. That's one thing about him. His, his energy is contagious. I like that because it get us going. It get us going early. The love, how I'll refers to, is FAU strength and conditioning coach Wilson Love. Of all the actors on FAU's practice fields this spring, Love's sideline antics have made him one of the most noticeable. Players refer to Love as an animated bottle of five-hour energy. Love's passion is one of the reasons he became one of Kiffin's first hires. What are the challenges for you guys as you try to get everybody to playing shape at, the, at different levels right now? Well, he's got to be smart, and you know that's our job as a strength staff. You know, there's science to this. There's, we're not just going to throw people out there. We're not the military. We're, you know, we're not in boot camp. You know, we're here to develop kids. You know, I don't want them coming off the field saying, "Oh, I died today." I want to walk, come off the field and say, hey, I got better today. I got developed today. I, I know I went 1-0 to today. So that's the biggest challenge is making sure because everybody has different needs, every player. Because every player has had different circumstances. You know, but right now we're fresh. We're fresh right now, but everybody's different. So it's our job as a strength staff. we got to apply everything we got to do in the science approach to make sure these guys are safe and they come out being the best version of them. That hire was really important, and not not just his energy that he brings, but his knowledge. He was he was helping out in the weight room, and it was like the, the first game. And I'm like, I went to Kirby Smart, like, who is that crazy dude over there? Like, he's like he's like headbutting. He didn't have a helmet on because he was coaching. He was a student coach or something like that. And he's like headbutting defensive linemen. And I'm like, well, who is this guy? Close and personally for this feature, but in the weight room, he's all business. His dedication along with his unique personality are a couple of reasons FAU players believe they will be stronger as a team. 2020 people always say, oh, this is the worst year ever. We don't look at it like that. Look at 2020, it's the best year ever. Because in 2020, you learn more about yourself, you learn more how to deal with adversity, you learn how to do more of change. So be happy about 2020 with all the stuff going on in life right now. 2020, it's been something else, and these guys are getting better. Hell of a message from Coach Love. Uh, look at 2020 as a positive instead of a negative. And with that being said, let's go over this week's picks. First one up. This one's about value. We're taking what Koba's given us. We're checking down when we need to, like Alex Smith. First one up is NC State Wolfpack minus 10 versus Florida State. Florida State's roster is absolutely ravaged by COVID and injuries. Plus, they have guys that are transferring out, aka Tamarion Terry. I think Marvin Wilson is gone. I think the left tackle is hurt or he transferred. NC State is rolling. Their defense isn't great, but Bailey Hawkman is their QB. And a little birdie told me Bailey used to be enrolled at Florida State before he left. So we got ourselves a good old-fashioned vengeance game. NC State minus 10. Take it to the bank. Next one up. Another value pick. We got the Dogs, Fresno State. Minus 10 versus Utah State. Utah State had their coach fired a couple weeks ago. They have a bunch of injuries and guys with COVID out. The Dogs are rolling. Feed Ronnie Rivers. At least 25 plus carries and they will win. Fresno State minus 10. Last one up. This is just the perfect storm. We're jumping back on BC. Back on the Djurkovic train. BC plus 14 versus Notre Dame. Home dogs. Notre Dame is a bunch of frauds to begin with. They have a really good line and that's about it. Boston College will expose them. It's going to be kind of a, like a Irish rivalry game. I don't know how many people are going to be let into Boston College, but the atmosphere is going to be wild. 14 points is a lot. We've been counting, cashing in on BC all season. Why change? BC plus 14. Now to end with the NFL picks. We're also going to ride the hot hand with Tua. Dolphins minus one versus the Chargers. Dolphins, kind of the hot team right now. The defense is actually playing lights out. Chargers have to cross the country and travel. Let's try the hot hand with two. I think they'll get the win. Next up is Bills plus three versus the Cardinals. This one kind of scares the shit out of me because Cardinals are balling right now. K1 is playing. Absolutely incredibly, but the Bills are coming off a bye week. 
Josh Allen will do his thing. I got Bills plus three. And the last one is Panthers plus six versus the Bucks. You guys know me. I'm all in on the Bucks train this year. I don't want to necessarily bet against them and Brady, who is one of my superhero idols. Just kidding, but seriously. It's tough to bet against the Bucks offense, but Panthers are hungry right now. Against all odds, you got Matt Rule coaching them up, getting, making them motivated. And Teddy's playing lights out against the spread. I think I got to go with the home dog, getting the points, Panthers plus six versus the Bucks. All right, y'all, see if we can continue this small ball and cash in. Until next week, like and subscribe and comment. Peace.